Welcome to this introduction to Wikisource. Uh, what we're going to go through here is how to get started proofreading on English Wikisource. Um, similar uh, processes apply to other language Wikisources, but uh, we'll be focusing on English at the moment. So this is the home page of English Wikisource. Um, you can see there's some uh, newly added texts here and September's featured text. And if we scroll down, what we're looking for to get started is the uh, proofread of the month. Uh, proofread of the month is uh, linked here and this month it's Napoleon, uh, a book by T.P. O'Connor published in 1896. So if we click on proofread of the month we come to the page that lists um, uh, the current proofread of the month and, and lower down it shows us previous uh, works that have been have been worked on. So if we go to Napoleon it takes us to what's called the index page and this is the the main uh, dashboard uh, where we do all of our proofreading for a given work. So you can see at the, uh, at the top here there's a, a bunch of metadata about it. Um, further down there's the page list which is the uh, navigation system for finding different uh, scans of, of the work and there's a table of contents. Um, that's been taken from what has already been proofread. So the main part that we're interested in when proofreading is the page list. And you can see here there's a bunch of different colors uh, and they indicate different levels of proofreading. Um, so green at the top here, they've been proofread by two people. Uh, yellow means it's been proofread by only one and so isn't yet validated by a second. And then the ones with no background color have not yet been begun at all. The border color on these, so you, you can see some of the yellow ones are red uh, bordered. That means that uh, they're eligible for me uh, as a user to proofread uh, because you can't uh, proofread a page twice yourself. It has to be two different users doing it. Uh, so to get started, um, I will uh, usually go to um, the first available uh, page for proofreading. So in this case all of the first row here has been uh, proofread twice and i.e. it's been validated. So I'll go to page 12. So when you navigate to any of these page numbers you go to the page view here and you can see the proofread text on the left and the scan on the right. So if we hit edit at the top right here we go into the edit mode um, and you can see that uh, we've got an edit box and a header and then lower down we've got a footer. Um, so I'll go through those in a minute, but the, um, the first thing you, you often want to do in this situation is close the main menu because that gives you a bit more width. Um, it gives you a little message telling you how to get it back. You can, you can go back up here and you can go move to sidebar to get the main menu back. But it gives us a bit more width to play with and makes it a little bit uh, easier to, to see what we're doing. So in this case, this uh, work, this page has already been proofread once, and so it's reasonably uh, accurate. And so the process that we go through is simply looking at the text on the left side here and looking at the text in the image and comparing this to this. Um, so it's a, a fairly um, uh, exacting process. We want to make sure that we're getting everything correct, all punctuation, all um, spelling or typography should be the same. But we do follow a few um, uh, typographical conventions on Wikisource. So for in instance you can see uh, this uh, line here without stopping concerning his past his, there's a new line here. Um, so when we're proofreading we remove all new lines. So I'll remove that and uh, that shows another one down here. So a couple of those and I think there's another one here. No, I was wrong about that, so I'll add that T back in there. Um, so that's that's done a, a, a small amount and I'll just carefully read through here uh, looking at um, anything that it looks like it might be wrong. So you can see um, uh, quotation marks. Uh, there's curly quotation marks here, but we use straight ones over here. And that's, that's fine. Different works on Wikisource have different conventions around that but we stick to uh, what's been established in this work. And then we, we keep going through and we, we look at all the words and all of the um, possible misspellings. You can see there's a, an accent on a letter here. We want to make sure that that has been um, 
proofread correctly and consistently throughout so that that name possibly uh, re recurs and we want to make sure that we're we're catching it correctly if there was any italics or bold or other uh, more advanced formatting we, we would add those in here um, it looks like uh, I, I've just been reading through this and it looks like pretty much everything is correct um, and so I'll scroll down and I'll click validate it so that validates this work and then if I hit publish changes we can see that uh, this page has been validated is at the top here and if I go back up to the index page with this up arrow at the top tabs we can see that page 12 has now gone green so that's um, a basic uh, process and we repeat that many times I'll go to 100 page 176 here because that hasn't been touched yet and that will take a bit more work I'm sure um, it uh, likely um, so, so to, to go back, sorry. Um, the first text that loads when you when you first open a new page uh, has been brought in from the OCR, the Optical Character Recognition Process. Um, so it's not necessarily very correct. Um, certainly, uh, in in some works, it's it's very good quality. Um, it looks like this one is is reasonably accurate. Um, but there are lots of things where we need to fix. Uh, so. Starting at the top, we look um, at the header, so the page number and the chapter title, or sorry, the work title in this case. Um, we're on the left-hand page here, so it's it's uh, often the work title. And you can see here in the header area, we've got RH, that means running header, and that's a template that will format this in the same layout. It'll have the page number left aligned and then a centered um, work title and there is there's other options to this you can have a, a right hand aligned one so you can here see here it's it's pre-filled the running header with 176 Napoleon and 176 and so that's a convention um, that makes it slightly quicker because all we need to do here is remove the, the second one so on the right hand page we would have removed the first one and kept the, the right hand most and so uh, that's been repeated down here so I'll delete that um, and then I'll run a uh, page cleanup script uh, toolbar button here sorry um, that will remove all of those new lines uh, and reflow the text just to make it quicker uh, while while we're doing this demonstration um, you can see here there aren't any paragraph uh, new paragraphs in this page and so it is all one paragraph um, this the, the beginning of the page is a, a carried on sentence from a previous page there's nothing we need to do there and it, similarly at the end of the page we don't need to do anything uh, complicated um, however we do need to read through and make sure that all of the um, punctuation is correct uh, and other um, typographical uh, issues so for instance long live the emperor there should be no space uh, after and before the quotation marks and I think there was another one further down uh, for God's sake, place yourself before him and to the end of that. So that's down here, for God's sake, place yourself before him. Apart from that, it's all looking reasonably uh, correct. Um, you can see here, we've got the excess of my joy, comma, for what? Obviously that's uh, incorrect. So if we look down here, it's actually comma and then open uh, quotation mark and what? Uh, so we'll add that in. And we'll just check that at the end of that, nope, there is a missing, there's an extraneous space there. So uh, we need to make sure that everything like that is is completely accurate. Um, if there were typo, if there were um, misspellings or typos or um, other errors in the text, we maintain those. We don't correct anything. We're only correcting to the scan. We're not correcting or editing the text in any other way. So everything that's in the, the left-hand text should be visible in the right-hand text. So I think I've done this reasonably well. Uh, so see, I can now move it to yellow or proofread, but it doesn't let me move it to green or validated. That's because somebody else has to come along and do that after me. So if I hit publish, we can uh, now see that it has been proofread, but it needs to be validated. And if we go back up to the index page, we'll see that uh, here it is 176 
and you can see that it doesn't have a red border it doesn't have any border and that's telling me that I can't go in uh, validate that page I can validate all of these other ones but I can't do that one because I was the one who proofread that so that's uh, in a nutshell basically the process that we go through for page after page um, there's uh, a lot more to be done like um, tables of contents and if I go to the the beginning of the uh, the work, the beginning of the chapter, um, you'll see that we maintain uh, large font, uh, bars, all sorts of typographical things. So I'll just go in and edit this so you can see um, some more complicated uh, transcription. So here we're using a whole bunch of different uh, templates. DHR, that's double height row, uh, that gives a bit of extra space. Um, C and XX larger, that's centered and then uh, a larger font for that part and then lower down we're also centering uh, chapter one but we're only doing x larger so x x larger is larger than x larger um, and then again larger is is smaller smaller than those uh, you can see that um, I begin th this part of the, the the first sentence is in small caps and so the SC template is used for I begin um, and, and also down here for uh, the section header. There's a, a large number of um, other ways that, that things can get formatted and lots of templates and you can have templates that are specific to a given work if there's um, a lot of repetition and that, that makes it easier to proofread. Uh, I won't go into all of those now um, because this is really just um, how can you get into uh, finding a work and starting proofreading on it. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if there's um, anything else that uh, we can try and make clear. Cool. Thank you.